Perth's median rent prices hit new highs in August. Now to find out how your suburb performed, comment below and I'll let you know. Now after sitting at 550 bucks per week since March, the median dwelling rent rose to $575 per week. Now if we break that down to houses and units, it's 600 bucks and $550 per week respectively. Now expect more increases to come with rental listings falling below 1700 and population growth maintaining pressure on the market. Now listings did drop below 1500 for the two weeks around Christmas and New Year, but other than that, they are at their lowest levels for over a decade. Now have a listen to what Rewat CEO Kath Hart had to say. She said supply is the major issue facing the market. The big lesson out of the past decade is how important it is that WI maintains its long-term average of 22,000 new home builds per year. Now we've lifted in the past few years, but this is coming off a low point after only building about 13,000 homes in 2019. Now there is also concern about the number of new builds in the apartment market. The average is 14 new builds per year, adding about 1,400 apartments to supply. But this year though, there have only been about two new starts for about 140 apartments and this will have repercussions in the next few years. All right, turning our attention to the Perth sales market. CoreLogic's Perth High Value Index increased 0.9% in August and 2.9% over the past three months. Perth, Adelaide and Sydney are the only capitals to show growth over the past year with Perth recording the highest increase at 4.5%. Now Perth's median house price rose to $562,550 while unit prices remain steady at $400,000. Now the top performing suburbs for house price growth in August were one and up, up 4.1% to $619,000. Swanview up 2.2% percent to $460,000. And Nedlands was up 2% to $2 million. Warmbra was up 1.8% to $460,000. And Craigie was up 1.8% to $580,000. North Perth, Brabham, Balcata, Hilbert and Bertram also recorded over 1.5% growth. Now the number of properties available for sale in Perth was just above 5,000 at the end of August and this is 1% higher than July, but about 37% lower than 12 months ago. Now Rewa, CEO Kath Hart said properties were still selling incredibly quickly, which is keeping the number of listings on Rewa.com low. We are seeing properties come onto the market in reasonable numbers, but demand is high, buyers are active and anything new is being snapped up quickly in a matter of days. And that's in a number of suburbs, she said. Greenfields is one of those suburbs. Rewa members say that this area is a very high demand, particularly from Eastern States investors. It's an older area, relatively affordable, and has family homes on good size blocks and offers good rental yields. Buyers are essentially on waiting list, and when a home becomes available, it's sold. So it must be noted that this activity and growth isn't sustainable, but it reflects the heat in the market at the moment. Well guys, that is all from me today. Now please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that is action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.